hello everyone this is asm arif today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial today i'll show you how to manipulate photo and i'll show you a photo manipulation process okay let's start at first i'll take a new just a canvas which is uh, the size uh, 25 60 and 14 40 and the resolution will be 300 and the color mode a gb and color custom and hit the create button you'll get a canvas which is a white background canvas and after that go to the color palette and just make it a little bit ash like that okay and hit the ok button after that press alter and delete button and then go to the file and place embed it and I'll embed this one at first this ground all the stock image I'll give you the download image link in my video description and this background I'll just increase the size of this one and hit the ok button and then restylize this one right press the right button and you'll get these restylize options and press ctrl T again select this layer at first I'll give the ground and press ctrl T and go to the perspective options and press the ctrl alter and scroll the mouse and then you'll just make it like that I'm pressing and hold the ctrl shift and alter button and 4.6 degree I'll just perspective changed and hit the ok button after that mask this one and go to the gradient options and just press the shift button and hold it and just drag over there okay that's good and then go to the file and place embed it and now import this one and make it bigger and hit the okay button and press the right button and restylize this one take this layer below this ground layer and give this one the sky okay and you can reposition this one like that press ctrl T and reposition this sky layer and hit the okay button you can move this okay that's good and little bit I'll just change this one and adjust with this one I need to show the moon actually okay and go to the file and play, press the open I have downloaded the stock image model stock image and now I'll take only the model okay I'll go to the quick selection tool and just select the model easily you can select this model the background is white that's why no need to use other tools and when you are selecting be careful about the age otherwise okay that's good if you want to just select deselect any kind of area press the alter button and just select there it will automatically gone the alter button and just select the area which is you want to just make it deselect okay if you want to increase the brush size you have to press the third bracket closing if you want to decrease the brush size you have to press the third bracket opening okay that's good okay after that go to the select options and press the press and hold the shift button and select and mask 
you'll get this window here is my settings the smoothness 17 feather 3 the contrast 14 and shift edge minus 79 and I'll add some smart reducer and same process if you want to increase the brush size you have to press the third bracket closing and brush over the hair okay okay shifting you have to just increase the edge shifting and you'll get the hair which is deselected okay that's good and you can check it out okay that's good nice and all the area is properly selected and now go to the the panel drop down menu and select the new layer with the layer mask and hit the ok button you'll get the transparent background and model okay and select this model and drag this model and drop in this window press ctrl T and just zoom out if you want to zoom it out you have to press the ctrl and ctrl alter button and you can just scroll the mouse and just select make it sharp like that and hit the ok button ok and then apply layer mask if you press the apply layer mask you will get this one ok select this background layer and take a blank layer make it black and take brush take the brush the first one and make the brush size smaller by pressing the third bracket opening and just press once before press this one you have to check the opacity and flow and select and press ctrl T I'll change the shape of this brush and I'll make it shadow like that okay and make a copy by pressing ctrl j before that uh, mask this one select this brush this one and take the brush after masking this one when this one is uh, white you have to make it black and just brush over there and go to the filter and blur and make it Gaussian blur like that little bit and hit the ok button and make this brush copy and just move this one and just give, go there and you can make it bigger if you want and you can move you can adjust the shadow with the picture I'm just controlling this one you can make it bigger and also adjust the shadow with the lights and hit the ok button that's good uh, here the light is coming uh, from the right side that's why I'll take all the layers I'm making group and just taking this model in the left corner that is coming from the right and uh, my model in the left that's good and after that select the sky and go to the filter and camera filter after going camera filter I'll decrease the exposure a little bit and hit the ok button okay that's good and now go to the adjustment layer and go to the level and adjust the color and light the model and hit the ok button in this group this one is model and rename this one and in this model 
I'll just adjust the shadow and highlights okay here is some white color you have to mask this one and go to the brush and just brush over the photo and the white area will remove okay here is the white options okay that's good after that uh, apply layer mask and press ctrl j and j2 select this layer and make the name b for burn and d for dodge i will apply the dodge burn option actually and i'm turning off the d option select the b option going to the blending mode and making it skin and press the right button and blending options and i'll just slide this slider and finding the highlighted area of the face press the alter button and divide this one and adjust with the face okay hit the ok button and mask this one go to the image and apply image and hit the ok select the d button and active this one d layer actually and making it multiply going to the blending options and slide at this slider and finding the shadow pressing the alter button and make it divide and hit the ok button in this case mask this one again and go to the image and apply image in this case check the invert option and hit the ok button after that making this group and mask this group go to the image and apply image after this one in case uncheck the invert option hit the ok button and you'll get the shadow and highlight actually and i am just making it zoom out and i'm taking the level options in this area okay you'll get nice light and go to the adjustment layer go to the color color lookup and select the horror blue color and reduce the opacity that's good and after that selecting all the layers making it group by pressing ctrl g and making it merge after merging this one go to the filter and camera raw filter after going camera raw filter i will adjust the all the things decrease the highlights adding some shadows and making the clarity five percent and adjust the tint and the temperatures and going to the effects add some vignette and adding some amount of sharpening and noise reducer and color detail and hit the ok button after that taking a blank layer and go to the brush options and i have some cloud cloud brushes and i will apply those here is some cloud that's good okay make it white and add some cloud pressing ctrl T actually and hit the ok button and reduce the opacity a little bit and making it group making it merge and go into the filter a nick collection color effects pro after going to nick collection you'll get many of filter and you can apply from there i'm using the cross processing and here is some filters you can add filter from here 
I'll use this one that's nice and hit the OK button okay it's applying okay uh, after that going to the level and adjust the lights like that okay that's good and hit the OK button and making it group all the things before that a little bit reduce the fill okay it will make more natural actually uh, making it group making it much okay our image is ready and this is uh, basic manipulations and uh, the changing background all the things hope that it will help you thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question do comment on my video comment section and feel free to knock me on the social media don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend till the next video i am asmarif signing out and bye bye